Uh, sorry about the lateness, darlings. Apologize, darling. Life, what can I say? Okay, Love & Hip Hop Hollywood. First of all, today, there are a couple of people's birthday. Um, I want to give a shout out to Emma Stone. She turns 31. Um, Tandy Newton. Uh, she turns uh, 47. Lamar Odom, he turns 40. And the incredible, the incomparable darling, the legendary Sally Field, she turns 73. Legend! So, yeah, shouts out to those people. <clears throat> Yesterday, Odell Beckham and Chris Jenner had a birthday. So, yeah. So, love and hip hop. Okay. <clears throat> um. What do I want to start? <clears throat> There's somewhere, meaning April, Fizz, and Moniece. April caught herself going over to Moniece and trying to have a conversation with Moniece. Um, and, and she's being, you know, very dismissive. dismissive. And, you know, just came up here, you know, just being a smudge, just being a bitch. Straight up, no other word to call it. Um, and now, and, and then all of a sudden, <clears throat> uh, Fizz felt some kind of way because April was talking to Moniz. You know, figured that Moniz would tell April some real tea about his ass, so he scurried his lads over there. Hold on, y'all. <coughs> I just got finished spraying some spray. And it damn to cut my breath off permanently, darling. So yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, they ended up um, talking, and then Lil Fizzle Pop came over there to speak, and um, it was just like, Monice, what you don't get is that unless it's something about Cam, I don't need to communicate with you about nothing. And she was just like, no, but it is about Cam. You know, it's Monisa's whole thing is, you know, they had the baby to lie to her um, about them being a couple. And, you know, I definitely think that's a part of it. But it's also the fact that April and Monisa was building some kind of friendship. And they was even supposed to go on tour now. But now since they're out in the open, Fizz and April, April are completely... Um, chug the deuces up to Moniz and it's just like oh, why April has completely changed her personality um, since she and Fizz are now out in the open now so it's just like why aren't you still the same person sis I understand I'm starting to see now the, the different layers did y'all see the article post where April said that Fizz was the best dick of her life and, and you know saying that who cares about any of y'all clowns? I mean, girl, April, we had such hope. April, we actually thought that you had sense, class, all that kind of stuff. But you are just as trash. It's such a shame. It really is. Um, and like Monice mentioned in this episode, that you know, or she mentioned something like um, they got together because she met up with Macy as Jason Lee, and was like um, that. April and Fizz got together after Fizz stopped being friends with Omarion and also after Omarion supposedly broke April's heart. So of course they're, they um, are together or, or initially got together to spite Omarion. Of course. We all know that. Omarion and Fizz are not friends and they'll never be friends after this. Regardless of whether Omarion is... is don't, it's not even has no feelings for April anymore. It's it's you know you just don't do that. It's going through the family, but that's what Lafayette like to do. Like my last season or the season before that, when he got with um, Monisa's arch nemesis, which was Monisa's girlfriend's best friend. He loved to go through the family and go through the clique and go through the circle to get somebody. He is tired. And to think, Lil Fizz used to be everybody's favorite in B2K. Child, please. But you know, they only liked him because he was a stereotypical, pretty, light-skinned boy. That's the only reason why. I thought he actually had a little talent. But no. 
It was just the look. There for the looks and B2K. You know, every member, every um, group, especially boy group, they all got that member. They don't really sing much, don't really rap much, don't really say much. They just, you know, but they put them always in the front, you know, because they bring the people in because they're attractive. But Lafiz look like he um, smoked two packs a day. Y'all see them lips? No offense to anybody who drink, who smoked two packs a day. But I'm just saying, Lafiz look like he smoked four packs a day. Y'all see them lips? I don't know. He just looks unkept to me. I don't know why. And something about him is just grungy. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, yeah, so uh, they were talking, and he's, of course, being dismissive and being funny. Um, Monique, she walked off crying. She was talking to Sierra Marie. And, um, you know, uh, April and Fizz off laughing somewhere in the background. And <sighs> you can never win when you're dirty, it's not going to last. April really thinks she got somebody, and that's that's fine. If Fizz was there when times was low and times was hard, and you know, lean on me when you're not strong, I'll be there, and all that. Beautiful, lovely. But just so you know, when it don't last, I might make a video. I, I might not even waste my time. But just so you know, you know how you get them is how you um keep them how you uh get them what was i gonna say how you keep them is how you, how you get them is how you lose them maybe maybe that's what i wanted to say but yeah if this relationship was rooted in in just being spiteful towards somebody else um if it was rooted in just you and i both have a uh uh issue with one person so let's get back at that one person it's not gonna last if there's no real love there um and they love to throw up especially april she was running her mouth so much in this episode um they love to throw up the fact that why do y'all care why do y'all because it's on tv and we watching the show which is what y'all want us to do right is watch the show because that's how you know ratings and and you know if, if, if your character is good enough Then you continue the next season right Which means you continue to get paid right So you get mad about us uh, Talking about the show or you, This is the storyline of the season We didn't ask, we could care less uh, April if you or Fizz was on the show We really could But this is the storyline for the season So this is what we got to work with So shut up You getting paid right You collecting your checks right Well shut up You can't have it both ways well, she was sitting down talking to Fizz, talking about, um, you know, all the other um, girls out there, talking about why he didn't get somebody else exotic. Because the other exotic girls don't do it like me. <sighs> April, people been eating ass for centuries, if that's what you're talking about, you're doing to Fizz. Fizz look, look like he wipe all the way. Let me get off this mess. I'm so sick of them. Uh... Do I think that Monique still has feelings for Fizz? Um, I, th I do think that she still feels something for Fizz. But it's more of a thing of, of rubbing it in her face, I think. It's more of a thing of um, kind of getting back at her. Um, And and we found out um, when Monice was on uh, Hollywood a lot talking to Jason Lee that Fizz and April actually moved in the back of them. You see, it's, it's that kind of petty stuff that Lil Fizz do, sneaky shit. That what's his, what's Lil Fizz zodiac sign? I don't feel like looking it up. But um, yeah, he's very sneaky. He's very underhanded. Um, and, and, and then kind of passes off as, oh, I'm not doing anything. Oh, you're just jealous of my relationship. Monique, stop giving these people your energy, please. Because they can always use that as an excuse that you're just jealous and that you just want his dusty ass back. Stop giving these people your energy. She crying at the end of the episode talking to Tia Marie. You know, she's feeling down and upset. You know, I was like, Lord, Monique. Like, Monique is going to be alright, but just stop paying these clowns any attention. These people are not worth a dime of your time. These two clout chasers 
are not worth a dime of your time. Believe me. And you sitting there crying today and next week, who's to say they won't even be together? So it's like, girl, you wasting your time. Just focus on yourself. Focus on your music. You know, prove, prove. K. Michelle wrongs. K. Michelle said, saying that y'all didn't think about y'all music. And um, just, just do your thing. Do your thing and, and you're going to be alright. Because you're just a black woman, sis. And, and, and April is uh, black adjacent. So, um, yeah. You know, I don't doubt... I don't doubt that Omarion hurt April. And I'm sorry for that April with a Y. I am. But this is not how you handle things, sis. Sometimes doing evil for evil, it, it don't work. You know, you can't expect good to come out of two evils. You can't. Lafayette's just happy if anybody pay him any attention. I tell you, whole thing. Can we get Fizz off the show and get J Bug on the show? Get J Bug and Marcus Houston them on the show. We can get Lil Fizz off. He is so tired. Oh Lord. Mm mm mm. Let me see. Oh Moniz, don't think that um. The Jason Lees, the Zell Swags, the Paris. Don't think these folks are your friends because they're not. They just live for the mess. They have nothing else to do but just, you know, bounce from friend to friend to friend, stirring stuff up and, you know, sitting back at home laughing about it. Um, so, just don't, um, don't even worry about it, girl. Don't don't pay them clouds or attention them folks ain't your friends neither. They just here for the mess. Mm mm. Anyway, what else is going on? I just had to go on a whole little rant right there. Um Brittany B is bringing all the celebrities to the show. We see her with Asian Doll. Asian Doll sitting there just as black as I am. Her name Asian Doll. Okay. Um, I was just like, well, I guess. Uh, pretty girl, though. But um, she's working on a song with Britney B. Um, you know, they do talk about how difficult it is being a darker skinned girl in the uh, music industry. Fully. 100% agree. Um,. Yeah, that was it, I think. Let me see, let me see. A1, he set up a little tired-ass picnic um, with him and Lyrica and the little baby. It was so awkward. Um, and she was just like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad, you know, to be here, yada, to yada. You know, they going to get each other. Uh, he's going to work with her you know he keep trying to prove himself over and over and you know that he's a family man and he gonna change when he do stuff every other day and you know if you keep taking a back Lyrica I, I, I don't feel nothing for you sis I mean you know y'all like that let me see um that was this thing with Slick uh, Mickey Monday, Zell, and his new girlfriend named Star Divine. Um, what else is going on? Um, so Apple had a um scene with oh she had on this horrible wig, y'all. Somebody help Apple. Apple held on. Um, <laughs> Apple was in a scene with Britney B and Yo Yo. Yo Yo was on the mic. Yo Yo coming out with a new album. It may already be out. Um, Y'all gonna buy it? I am not. Um, no. I like Yo Yo. I ain't gonna buy it, but I'll listen to it. You know. We'll see. I might buy it. I've never really been into. I don't really know that much about Yo Yo, to be honest. I never really gave her music that much of a chance. 
Um, besides, you know, the old hits or whatever. But um, I'm sure some bops on there, I'm sure. Anyway, they're sitting down talking and they're trying to clean up Apple's image. Um, Apple said last week that she honestly is just being herself. Um, but she don't understand why people like Cardi B gets a pass. You don't understand that? Yeah, there's still people that argue and sit and, and, and think that, uh, and say things like Cardi B's black. And Cardi B's a black woman. But you sit here looking at Cardi B's parents. And you're like, black where? Ask Cardi B parents what they are. I doubt if they say they're black. Another debate. It's not about Belkalese. It's not. I like Cardi B, you know, but she's not black. But whatever. 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 Let's, we all got shit to do. We ain't got time. So, um, yeah. And I'm just like, well, racism, Apple. Colorism, Apple. Like, come on. Um, but Apple get it. Apple know what it is. And, you know, there you go. But Apple is just, um, sometimes she is just inappropriate and she needs to calm down. She gets mad about things that doesn't, it, it doesn't make sense as to why a person would get mad about. Um, and there's not really like a comedy, um, thing that's associated with Apple like it would be somebody like, Car like Cardi B. Cardi B is a caricature. Um, so she she's a personality, you know. Apple is not really a personality. Um, you know, those those ass cheeks are personalities, but you know, like in general, you know what I'm saying. So that's also a part of the reason, but it's, it's mainly, you know, the whole colorism thing. Uh let me see, let me see. But Apple, please get you some better wigs. Uh let me see, let me see. April, I hope it works out for your sis, child. For your sake. Uh, let me see. Lyrica, she had a sound check. There was something going on with the um her mic wasn't working right. Uh A one apparently kept calling out to the dude telling saying that the mic wasn't working properly. And um A one got mad to my dude, I do this. She's sitting there sniggering and laughing and I do this on a regular basis. Um, Lyrica G came in. Um, tongue, 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 tongue. She came in and, um, was talking and Lyrica G's not really feeling A1. And, you know, Lyrica, um, A is, um, baby Lyrica. She's mad or get irritated when her mom treats A1 in any kind of way. That's your mother, you clown. And every time A1 cheats on you, which is every other week, it seems like. You, your mama is the first person that you tell, and you expect for her not to have any feelings, any ill will feelings towards a one. When every single time y'all have an issue, she has to be the shoulder that you cry on. Are you serious, um, Lyrica? Go talk to somebody else. That's your mother. She's gonna always have your back, sis. Where's Pam? Pam is the best thing about loving hip hop Hollywood. She really is. I'll watch a whole show full of Pam. Now I wouldn't be able to do that voice. Um, not 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 the whole review, but I would watch a whole Pam Bentley show. Absolutely. She is so entertaining. Um The producers of whoever made A one apologize. He didn't want to apologize. He was just like, Apologize who? To the dude, like I'm A one. I don't do that. The only reason I do that is because of Lyrica. So because you're A1 steak sauce that you don't have to apologize when you've been wrong to somebody. I know you're not throwing that around A1. You're just on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, sis. You ain't on nobody's award shows. Cut it. You ain't even at the Hip Hop Awards. You ain't even at the Source Awards. Cut it. Okay? 
You ain't, you ain't even at no VH1 award show. Cut it. I'm A1. Who? Now, if the guy... They didn't show. But if the guy was being an asshole and being snarky, then I agree with not apologizing. But just for the sake of the sake and just for your conscience and just for to get things moving and you know this is the person that's going to have to work uh, you know with your wife and stuff just apologize A1 I, was just, I just thought that was so classless I was like ew just so not humble I was like who are you A1 please what else is going on I think that was it. Like I said, Monice met up with Tiara Marie. She was crying and, you know, going through it. And hopefully Tiara and uh, Monice can remain friends. Um, And, yeah. Is that it? I think that's it, y'all. But that said, I'm Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at this King's World on Instagram and Twitter. At is he's or eighty nine on Snapchat, Chase King on Facebook, Mr. Chalaki on Cash App and PayPal. Run me my money, I run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black, stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. Bye.